Alrighty, so today what we are gonna do is we are gonna unbox this Hart 3 8 inch brushed drill kit. You know, it looks like a, a homeowner's kit. It's, it's called a project kit. Uh, the model for the kit is uh, HPK01B. Now this was a $70 kit. I was at Walmart today exploring to see if they had any more deals like the Hyper Tough that I got for 40 bucks. Uh, they had nothing. Uh, all, I, all the all those kits were sold out, uh, and I looked around. There's no good deals out there when it comes to the the clearance stuff. So, but I was browsing through the hard stuff, and I decided to get this. All right, like I said, the model number for this is HPK01B. I'll say it one more time. This kit was uh, $69.99. All right, it comes with a bag, fantastic. So after the bag, the box is empty. It goes to recycling. And yes, I do own, which uh, I used a four amp hour battery with this. Uh, there was a huge difference between the 1.5 and the four amp hour when it comes to performance. This actually blew, it actually blew my mind when I used it with the, uh, used it with the four amp hour battery. So here we go. Uh, here is the 12 uh, foot tape measure. Is that white? Nope, that's actually the regular color. Very good. All right, here is the drill bits and driver bits. So it comes with a quarter inch, five sixteenths, three eighths, and seven sixteenths. That's pretty much standard. And it comes with, they have a little bit of oil on them, which is a good thing. You want a little bit of oil on them when you get, first get them. This goes to 1 16th to a quarter inch. You get a knife, uh, box cutting knife blades. You get the, ooh, it comes with the blade inside already. Very good. It's good to have a little hard case for your extra blades. Uh, spacing and the, the level, which I need a new level, by the way, which I'm actually glad I got this. Uh, it does appear to have a magnet strip on there. All right, so as you can see, there is a magnet strip on there. It's not powerful, but it's enough to hold itself up. You get a little, little set of pliers. Now, like I said in previous Hart videos, uh, Hart does make multiple versions of a drill. This is the 3 8 inch one. All right, so the model number for this, this is brushed. The model number for this is a HP DD50, 20 volt system, 3 8 inch chuck, which is uh, metal on the inside, but the housing of the chuck is plastic. Uh, so, uh, variable speed trigger only. Interesting. No speed settings. This goes to zero to six hundred RPMs. I'll put the torque. If I can find the torque, I'll put it in right now. But alrighty. So that's that. And it comes with a one point five amp hour battery and a black charger now i think the white version of the charger is actually a lot more powerful now there is no fuel gauge on these batteries so there you go let's put the battery in charge and let's see what it can do and we are going to test out the four amp hour battery on a test to see how, how well this performs with the four amp hour battery we're going to see if this is capable of doing on the timber lock screw we got a five the uh, five sixteenths uh, hex bit on there, so let's see if the two amp hour is capable of doing it, or even if this drill is capable of doing it. All right, it is capable of doing it. It is capable of driving in that timber lock screw. All right, so let's put the four amp hour battery in. All right, so ready, go. All right. Yes, it is. 
Wow. All right, I'm not gonna lie. Let's see. Nope, it doesn't smell of burning at all. All right, let's take it out. Ready, go. That's capable of doing it. Where's that, 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 that for a brushed drill? I'm impressed with that. I'm amazed that it can do it. All right, let's put the two amp hour in. It's a ready, go. Yep. Time. It does it slow, but it still does it. Nope, that one's. I tried. I got one in there that's stripped. When it comes to this type of brand, I doubt that this will be able to do a one and a half. Uh, spade bit. So we're gonna do small, we're gonna do seven eighths, you know, homeowner stuff. We're gonna do seven eighths, we're gonna do one inch, half inch. Let's see how this performs. All right, so ready, it clears everything. Ready, go. All right, so let's jump. Let's jump into a four amp hour battery. It does have a fuel gauge. Fuel is uh, battery is full. Let's see what the power difference is. All right, so ready, go. Time. Now that was a lot faster. I remember Hart is for the homeowner slash DIYer that has a couple of projects here and there through its uh, through their lifetime, and that's pretty much it. This is not by any means. And so this is not by any means a professional tool at all. Like this is for just a once in a while project guy that's a DIYer. So. Let's test out the measuring tape really quick. It's a tape measure, you guys. You know, it's, it's nothing nothing special. Tape measure is a tape measure. Uh, this is exactly uh, 2 feet 24 inches. Let's see what it reads over here. And there you go. It is accurate. Heart brand is not a bad tool to buy if you're a DIYer. All right, the price is cheap. You know, you get all, all this stuff, you know, with the purchase, you know, and so it's really not that bad. Just the tool, the the tool and battery and charger alone are worth $70 and you get this stuff for free. That's pretty much how it is. And you get a bag like for $70. This isn't a bad price for a DIYer. And I'm, I'm going to extend that for a DIYer. This when it comes to the brushed tools is only good for the uh below average DIYer. All right, so like it like you wouldn't run this for years and it won't even last that long. For the major convenience for Walmart shoppers, they're able to get this tool right on the spot where they don't have to drive far or drive to another store. They can get it right then and there. And I showed you the the hard brushless tool. Uh that's more expensive. Uh and so that the for the tool and battery alone and charger is like $110, you know, compared to all of this for 70. You know, like you all, if you want your tool better, you pay a better price. So that's always how it is. If you pay more for your tool, you get a better quality, but not everyone wants to pay that much for their tools. I just wanted to do the unboxing of this and demo, uh, demonstration of this just to see how it is. It, it's not that bad for the DIYer. And I'm gonna extend that fact, DIYer. Uh, I do suggest if you do get this, get a 4 amp hour battery. Alright, so that's pretty much it. So please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. I'm all about the best tools and the tools uh, marked at the right price for the DIYer. So, this is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.